I feel like I'm cooking for the army <laughs> well, here. We got a busy brunch coming up. If you're in Joe Downey Zayas' kitchen, you'll be put to work, but this is a work of love. As we craft lemon ricotta pancakes, lots of lemon zest going into the batter of eggs and flour, it all goes through a chinois or giant sieve. And the topper? House-made pear jam. Oh. How'd we do? Wow, that is delicious! <laughs> These pancakes baked at 500 degrees. I cannot believe how fluffy that is. Yes. That is insane. It's They're like pancake pillows. They are. We also turn out the classic scrambled eggs. But these, so soft, slightly undercooked to savor all the pecorino cheese tucked inside. Maialino's executive chef, growing up in restaurant kitchens, working his way through the line, ascending to the top spot here at Maialino, the Italian name for suckling pig. A story that started when he was just 10 years old. I had a uh, Cuban father, and so we passed down this tradition of doing a pig roast every Christmas Eve. It was just the coolest thing, and I kind of just fell in love with cooking. And now we get to share that love for all things pig, roasted here in-house, prominent with two pasta classics on the menu, bucatini alla amatriciana and pappardelle bolognese. We make our own spicy tomato sauce. Love it. And we use a dry mancini bucatini noodle. It is one of our signature dishes. Any trim or things that we can't utilize in that dish, gets to go right in the bowl and is. Okay, so I am gonna do this. <laughs> <laughs> Good you move, me yeah, on there this. you go. The pappardelle noodle, the perfect balance of thin but sturdy to hold the sauce. It's silky and then it's dense, so nice. Thank you so much. Our eggs get a very Roman treatment. Cacio e pepe, cheese and pepper, and a crispy flatbread. You know, I don't get to eat scrambled eggs with my hands. That's right. <laughs> and I love the fact that I can do this. Mm -hmm. It's just very like rustic and earthy. House-made pecorino and spinach sausage, thick bacon, Italian style. This pancetta yeah. is off the hook. <laughs> Thank you, yeah. We make that in-house. It takes about a week from start to finish. Mm -hmm. A lot of love goes in there. A lot of black pepper and rosemary on the outside. You'll be squealing with delight, as are we diving into another Roman classic, crispy potatoes. And this is something that you see in Rome everywhere. Roasted potatoes are mm -hmm. just on menus all over the place. So mm -hmm. it feels really good to me that we serve a really great version of this dish. Loving every bite of the savory time now for a sweet diversion. How many pancakes would you say you've eaten in your time here at Mylino Chef? Oh, that's a tough question. <laughs> it's definitely over 100, <laughs> if not 300. Do you regret any of them? No. <laughs> <laughs> Not for a second. I love the um, this little crispy edge mm -hmm. on the pancake because you use that clarified butter yep. and you let it just get that little bit of toastiness on the Absolutely. edge. Absolutely, it's so necessary to make this delicious pancake because you it, need that crunch. It's the perfect little detail. Mm -hmm. In celebration of the pig and all it brings to Italian trattoria cooking. Cheers, Cheers to Sunday, Sunday brunch, brunch at Milano.